Hey guys, hope this is working. Um, so we haven't had a company update in a while, and so where should we start? Um, I'm not sure if everybody, because people live all over the world and have different access to information, so it does look like we are going into what's called a contraction of the economy. So, you know, if the economy, simply put it, the economy is like that big, um, and there's this much goods and services produced, um, pretty much the amount of goods and services produced will contract, get smaller. So whether it's going to be this small or this small, we don't know how much it's going to contract. And um, and there's no real reason why it's even going to contract. It doesn't make any sense. You know, we just come out of COVID and it looks like the world economy was going to start working again, but um, it looks like it's going to contract. And it looks like it's going to be because of um, interest rates. So what happens is um, when there's too much confidence in the economy um, and people are spending a lot of money, usually that money is coming from debt. So people are like, I want to go buy a car, I want to do this, I want to start a business, I want to expand my business. So that comes from debt. So. Um, you go to the bank, you go somewhere, you go to your family, I need some money. So when more money gets pushed into the economy, people are like, oh cool, there's lots of money. And the people that are selling it, going, well, these people, somebody has started a new shipping company and they want to buy new ships and they've got tons of money. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna increase the price of the ship. And they're going to pay it anyway. So, and then, and then the person that bought the ship passes that cost on to the consumer. So, what's happening is the prices are, as there's more confidence, the prices keep going up, and the 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 thing that's called mar money currency becomes um, less valuable. So, essentially, you know, the buying power of your money. The dollar <clears throat> so if you've got one dollar in your pocket if there is excessive inflation if the prices keep going up when you go and try to spend that dollar it's not going to be worth as much as it was worth prior to inflation so the prices keep going up inflation keeps going on so you're like oh well with that with that one dollar I could buy some milk a bottle of milk but like in a year's time you can probably only buy half a bottle of milk so that's inflation so there the way the game works is essentially we all have an interest or whoever's carrying a currency of any kind has an interest that if, I've, if I'm holding this money, I want that money to be worth something in time to come. So then you've got, so, so you've got all these different pressures. You've got inflation coming through. Um, so you've got inflation, which is pushing you know, making the dollar, uh, which is pushing the prices up. The, then you've got the dollar, which is losing its value. And so the decision makers of our world are like, well, we don't really want this to happen. People that are holding money are losing value in the dollar. Inflation, um, you know, it looks like, in the short term, it looks like everyone's winning because prices are going up, wages are going up, everything's going up, but the value of your dollar is dropping in the long term, which loses faith. People lose faith in the dollar, people lose faith in the economy, people lose faith in the government. Because essentially, money is the, you know, is a means to, it's like a, it's like a transfer, it's like, it's a means to account for wealth, work, energy, you know, between people. So that money is what is what is a is a is a stick that we measure existence by at the moment. You know, not existence, but we measure a lot of our how we're going to function in the world by money. So then the government gets involved and goes, well, how do I control this? So then I will restrict the access to money, and that's done through interest rates. So once the interest rates um, start going up, 
um, there'll be a contraction in the economy. So when the interest rate goes up, people that have a house are now like, well, I have less money to spend now, so I will um, spend less. And then the businesses make less profits, and then it just keeps going on. So, um, so you're really, you're really, at the end of the day, putting a dampener on the. Con